what's up guys? Tony Angus here. When there's communication breakdown and you get some anger or tension, it starts to be rather like a table tennis or ping pong match where one person bats something at you, you bat something back, and it just becomes this backwards and forwards until somebody can hit a clear winner. That's a really poor way of communicating, especially conflict communication. The idea is not to win, it's not to lose either. The idea is not to even consider whether you're going to win or lose. Instead, think about when that person bats that table tennis ball to you, the ping pong ball if you're in the United States, when that ball comes to you, just catch it, put it down gently. Don't try and bat it back with something faster, harder, better, smarter, more sarcastic. Don't try and win that point. The point is to resolve the conflict, not to win the point. So you can, you can win a point but lose the conflict. How do you lose the conflict? By losing the relationship. So it's the old cliche of win the battle but lose the war. You can win that immediate battle. Now that doesn't really matter if that's a temporary relationship such as a, a retail relationship between vendor and uh, purchaser. Or if it's a long-term relationship between partners, business partners, friends, family, between a teacher and a student, between a healthcare professional and a patient, between an aged care professional and a resident, between a corrections officer and a prisoner, it doesn't matter. Your long-term conflict strategy must be the maintenance of a decent relationship because it's safer. It's better than winning that point in that moment. Good on you guys. As always, I hope that makes sense to you. If it does, please uh, join in the conversation. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Ciao for now.